Hey guys, welcome back. Oh shit, I forgot the music. I always forget the music. Um. Oops. Let me check on the side. Okay, sorry. That was important, had to check it. Um. Okay, there is music. I just wasn't hearing music in my headset. But I fixed that. Uh, we got a really nice... Let me pull up this team real quick. Um, where is it? Here it is. I found this on the internet somewhere. Uh, Tall Mega Gyarados. I think it was on... Um, I think I stole this from a book game, actually. But there's a team real quick. Uh, I just want to talk today. Uh, you know, through YouTube... Uh, I've been doing this for a year now. Long time, I know. Uh, I'm learning a lot about people and commitment. And... That song is like messing up. Get a new one. There we go. I like that one. And basically what I'm learning is that people are unreliable in a lot of ways and that people are only looking to advance themselves and when I say that oh my god why please tell me I outspeed if I outspeed I kill him at this range I believe oh my god no I'm bad Doesn't have a switch to this though, but yeah, what uh, I'm realizing how um, people are completely unreliable, in the sense that you know, me and you have a verbal agreement, or a, you know, we make an agreement right to do something, and a few days later, I see you doing it with someone else, and it's like, I'm just gonna turn the music off because it's glitching out. I don't know what's wrong with it. Uh, and it's very frustrating um, to have, you know, I, I make it a deal with you. I expect you to come through with your end of the deal. And uh, it doesn't happen often. Uh, most of the time with YouTube, I'm noticing people just think they can do whatever benefits them the most, which they can do in every sense. But it's still, I just... It's so wrong in my eyes. You know, if I make a deal with you, that's uh, something that I'm going to have to work with. I made that deal with you. So now I have to live up to my end of the deal. And uh, it doesn't seem like other people uh, see that value. They don't care if they uh, live up to the agreement. And that's uh, very frustrating. There we go. It really is because, you know, Someone that I think is my friend and I made an agreement with and I feel like I can uh, trust them to come through with their end of the deal and then they don't and I'm left here stuck in a bit between a rock and a hard place kind of. And uh, It sucks man. Oh, wow that kills. See uh, it's it's even effect like it affects me in a very negative way. I lose this game. Um. You know, you just, you rely on someone, you think they're going to come through, you have this, you have this idea, you know, it's it's your, I have this idea, and they say they're going to do it with me, and we're going to work together and be partners, and then they go and do it with someone else. They take my idea, and go, and it gets popular, and they gain subscribers, and I'm sitting here looking like I'm copying them now. It's, it's very frustrating. Um... It's very, very frustrating. <sighs> like, I have something I'm planning with a friend right now, and I'm not even going to tell you guys, because chances are I'm going to tell you about it, and then they're going to go do it with someone else. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, oh well, uh, good for you, happy you don't have to deal with it. But it's very, very... Oh my god, I could have killed that guy. 
it's very frustrating it's very aggravating and uh, it sucks having your friend do that to you you know really is um, it sucks uh, I just need to kind of vent and I need to record so thought I'd do both I know I'm not uh, my usual happy self but um that's what happens when people uh, do things like this. It uh, affects me. It really does. Um, it, it's to a point where I don't really play Pokemon at all anymore because the community is horrible. I mean, everybody's out for themselves and everyone either... It doesn't matter if you're on the showdown ladder and like, I'm going to crit this guy or something and he's going to go rage and flip out in the chat and stuff. Or whether it's behind the scenes, I'm working on a project with someone and then they go and do it with someone else. You know, it's just everybody's out for themselves and they don't care who they have to step on to get popular. And it's ridiculous. Like, I've been doing YouTube for a year. Here's my channel and I have 58 subscribers. And if you don't believe I did it for a year, look at all these videos nine months ago. My first video was posted 10 months ago. Okay, so. I've been doing this for a long time. Um, so, uh, I don't know what this kid's doing here. Uh, this should have been a switch in from the start. Oh, that was a lucky burn. Not like it matters because he, he lives anyway. And uh, now I can sack off my Latias. And hopefully his Gigar will die to the burn. And it does. Perfect. But yeah. Um, what was I saying? Yeah. I've been doing this for a year. And I'm not really going anywhere. And that kind of is depressing. But at the same time I'm enjoying the little bit of success I'm having. And uh, one of the main reasons I enjoy YouTube so much is the community. Um like the UPA, as much as we argue and fight and have issues with each other, I know that those guys are my friends and they're looking out for what's best for me. Um, whether or not I agree with them at the time, they're trying to help me. Uh, and I hope they're watching now because, I mean, I do need to say that. Um, you know, they're looking out for what's best for me, whether I agree with them or not, which I usually don't. But, um, then I have these other guys, uh, that I've worked with, and it's, like, you think they're your friend, and, you know, they have all these, uh, great ideas, and you have all these great ideas, and I try and offer them my ideas, and in return they offer me theirs, and you think it's this great start of something fresh and new and creative and then you get home you check YouTube and there's their video introducing it with other people and it's like you know I dropped my project to help you out and I think he thinks this is GG but I think I went here yeah I went here oh wait it's gonna be depends on what his attack is Okay, hit himself in confusion. If he had Earth Power, he won, actually, which is kind of sad for him. But shouldn't use Outrage. And I definitely don't speed and Oko, so. GG, friend. Um, yeah, as I was saying, uh, mainly because of the community and because I'm just so sick of all these people in it. I can't stand 90% of the people I have met in this community and if you take offense to that then it's probably because you did something to provoke me it's simple as that like I said uh, guys in the UPA I don't have a problem with any of them uh, old members of the UPA Mike Mash that's I love Mike Mash I don't talk to Mike Mash enough I love Mike Mash he's an awesome guy um, I never had a problem with waffles never had a problem with dork I never had a problem with any of those guys um, and I don't have problems with anyone currently in the UPA. Um, I mean, I talk to those guys on a daily basis. I get home, we ha we're all in we're in a Skype call almost constantly. Three, four, five of us, or we're all in a we're all in a big text chat. Like I can, I don't want to show you my Skype because 
you know, give people's information away. But we're all in this huge Skype chat. And uh, we all have fun and just hanging out, enjoying it. But then, like, and that's that's not really the YouTube side of my life because that's just a league sense. Because half those guys don't have YouTube channels. Uh, Lucas has he produces music on his channel. Uh, Hasty Swampert kind of has a channel. Corman does, Drew does, but um, a lot of those guys don't. Uh, survive really doesn't post a lot of content clumsy monkey doesn't post anymore you know those aren't my youtube friends those are just people that happen to be on youtube that i've met or that i've happened to uh, uh have met because of youtube if it wasn't for youtube i wouldn't have joined the clumsy battle league and now the uh, universal pokemon association and uh as much as i uh, think the group is dysfunctional at times um, I, I wouldn't, I, I, we take for granted what we got, because it's hard to get a group of guys all like that to get along well. Um, so basically what I'm saying is, uh, I don't know how much Pokemon content's gonna keep coming up on the channel. Oops. Wow, my mouse button goes back. I just figured that out. My mouse button, I have... Two buttons on the side of my mouse. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, there's one, and then there's two. And the one in the back goes back when you push back, and the one in the front goes front, forward. It's pretty cool. I'm just gonna waterfall. Hopefully, his aqua jet is not gonna kill. I don't think it will. Yeah, I probably should have mega actually, but whatever. Oh my eye. Okay. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know how much Pokemon is going to be on the channel uh, until maybe Sun and Moon comes out. Mainly because I'm not enjoying the metagame that much. I'm not enjoying the Cartridge games that much. Uh, there's just very little about Pokemon that I'm still enjoying at the moment. <laughs> and it sucks, it really does. Uh, but it's just how it is. Um, I will still be producing content. Um, it's just not going to be Pokemon content. What kind of content I will be producing, I'm not really sure yet. Um, if you have any ideas, let me know. Um, I am still open to collaborating with people, but um, honestly, hang on one second. Um, Sorry guys, hang on one second, I'll be right back. Sorry about that guys, I am back. Uh, I think I can just sack off Lottie here, get some damage off with Stora, um, Talonflame, and then just sweep with Excadrill. I think that's what we're going to do. Ooh. Yeah, I think I win this, uh, unless his Excadrill Scarf, then he wins a speed tie. I think I win this no matter what. But, uh, Back to what I was saying. Um, I really, I'm open to collaborating. Uh, if you do want to collaborate, let me know. But um, uh, I'm gonna be a lot harder to convince because uh, it's probably the third or fourth time uh, something like this happens. And uh, like I said, it's very, very, very frustrating. Um. And I was actually, I had quit Pokemon. I had recorded a video saying that I quit Pokemon. And then I actually won my league game. And I kind of like boosted me back. Sorry again, I was uh, interrupted. No big deal. Um, yeah, I was done. Uh, I was just worn out of the game. Wasn't enjoying the game. Wasn't, I was going to finish out my league. And from there, I was going to focus on other games. I have other games recorded. 
that I was actually going to make a second channel for non-Pokemon content because I like my channel the way it is and I want to keep it here and I don't want to ruin it by putting other content so let's really hope he doesn't I hope he rapid spins okay he ice peeps that sucks but now I can go into this and kill him he could switch out but I'd rather keep the rocks up kill the star man keep the rocks up if he tries to spin Wow. Oh my god, he's not spinning. Thank god he missed. Um, yeah, I'm just, I've worn out of the metagame. Uh, I'm still enjoying the league since quite a bit, but uh, it wasn't worth, I was going to continue, like I said, I was going to continue out the league, and I'd probably uh, debate on next season whether or not I would stay. Um, most of the debate would be how I feel at the moment. Uh, but uh, winning my league battle, you know, kind of rejuvenated my uh, life in Pokemon. I, I enjoyed it. And uh, actually, uh, Little Bigness was the guy I played this week. He gave me a, uh, he traded me a 6 IV ditto. So I could start trying to breed and uh, start getting into VGC. Because I've en been enjoying VGC a lot. Oh, damn. Looked at a lot. Yeah, I've been enjoying VGC a lot. I really have. And uh, I think that's what I'm going to try and focus on more. Because I enjoy it a lot more than what I was enjoying. I feel like I could just freely fire off Earthquakes right here. Because he's going to send a Talonflame and try and roost stuff on me. Or he's just going to sack Little Punny. Um, this video is getting quite long. So I feel like he's just going to roost here. So I'm just firing off an AQ. Wow, isn't that a problem? Oh my god, he's out playing me so bad. Good thing is I can just fire off a waterfall here. If he kills me, uh, that's perfectly fine. I'll just go out into Excadrilla and click Rock Slide. But yeah, basically, uh, if Pokemon content slows down, it's mostly because I'm just tired of these people. Um, maybe if I could get a job and I can get a capture card, then I could record VGC content. I could see that. I uh, like uh, battle spot stuff, stuff on the DS. I just nuked that Pangaru. I didn't think that was going to kill, but it did. Because that's what I'm enjoying a lot of. Uh, I just got Story of Seasons on my 3DS. And I'm enjoying it quite a bit. Um, I've been enjoying a lot of Battlefield 4 again. I haven't played that game since I started playing Pokemon. But I got back into it. And I'm enjoying it quite a bit. I'm enjoying a lot of... Um, DayZ. I'm enjoying... A lot of things that aren't Pokemon. And aren't YouTube related. I don't know what I'm going to do, honestly. Uh, I do definitely want to keep the channel going because I love making content. But at um, the same time, fan base isn't here. Uh, the partnership that I felt at one time, uh, like I, I've said it a million times, the best I've ever felt, uh, at least YouTube since, was during the initial launch of Goldenrod Station. Uh, you know, really relied on those guys. And um, they really let me down. So, that was kind of the starting point of my uh, decline and want for YouTube. And then tried to revamp Goldenrod Station. And pretty much failed. I mean, the guys I had going for it, um, I, they don't talk in chat anymore, it's, the whole thing failed. Uh, tried to start my own league, uh, had a bunch of guys agree to it, and the creator, well it wasn't even mine, it was someone else's, uh, and the creator bailed. I don't know where he is or what he's doing, never messaged me back, stopped answering me. 
which time and time and time again I am let down and just maybe if I just I, I just do my own thing and stop trying to help people stop trying to work with people because the big thing for me about YouTube was I enjoyed working with people uh, that was my favorite part was working with people but if people are going to be this unreliable and this cheap you know stealing other people's content if that's what's going to happen here then uh, I don't know if I want to be a part of this community um, like I said I, of course I will be continuing the UPA I absolutely love it uh, as, much, as salty as I get when I lose it's only because I put in so much effort to do well uh, I absolutely love that community absolutely love the league like I said I know I get salty I get mad uh, it's just if you realize how much work and time I put into that you'd understand how frustrating it can be but uh, that's where my enjoyment is and I'm gonna try and make a lot more UPA related content I might do s oh my god I just thought of this awesome idea I could do videos highlighting certain UPA mods like not highlighting them, but like videos saying what they can do and what they're capable of. Stuff like that. I think that would be cool. Okay, you sacked off your Mew. Whatever. Stuff like, kind of like a, an analysis of like Excadrill. Well, not Excadrill, but I just saw Excadrill. Analysis of Pokemon on my team. I might do stuff like that. And I uh, just kind of stay away from the community for a while. Um, See, like this. This guy just says, "I luck." Where was their luck? Okay, I created a pout on, but that really doesn't matter because I uh, still had Latios, which could have taken it out, uh, taken it on one v one. Even Talonflame could have taken it on one v one if it doesn't have Edgequake or Stone Edge. I mean, uh, my Draco killed no matter what. Returned, killed. I mean. Not return. Um, earthquake. The earthquake plus toxic damage. He's the one that thunder waved me, relying on whatever. There was no hacks in that vault in that entire game except for the crit on a Poudon. But like I said, I have multiple mods that deal with it. This is what I'm talking about. Like that's just stupid. And on battle spot, you don't have to worry about stuff like that. I swear, guys. People think. Showdown's a great place, and it is a very convenient place, but Shmogon is not a good place to be. It's not. And I'm just going to start ignoring, like, ignoring all that, and then maybe Shmogon would be a better place. But I hate, I don't like ignoring people, because I've actually run into subscribers on the ladder before. Uh, I've had subscribers PM me, like, they watched one of my videos, and they just checked on Showdown, and I happened to be on. I'm on Showdown, like, 12 hours a day. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm sure you guys don't believe me, but there's only f 50, 60 of y'all, and I have, I've run into y'all before, which is awesome what I do. I think that's so cool. Um, I love how I take popular teams. Uh, I've been mistaken for other people. I've been mistaken for Shofu. I was uh, in a call with, like, Lucas Celtape, Survive9, I think, maybe Little Bigness, some, 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 uh, some combination of those guys. And uh, we got mistaken for Shofu with one of the teams we were using. It was pretty funny. Um, I love stuff like that. Uh, I love getting in a Skype call with Survive 9 and using one of Survive's big heat teams. Like, I have some. I have some. Watch. Uh, Control F. Bam. Survive's uh, Mega Sableye Sun team. Survives Mega Gyarados team. This Gyarados had like Ice Beam and Dragon Pulse or something. Sucker Punch Latias. Uh, Subseed Focus Punch Breloom. Stuff like cool stuff. Knock Off Manaphy. Iron Tail. Why is there Iron Tail? And Aerial Ace. I guess. Oops. Iron Tail for the Mega Dancy guys. Uh, I have more fun doing videos with Survive than probably anything else. And this guy just forfeited for no reason. Uh, I know this has been a little long, it's kind of a rant, but 
it is what it is guys hope you all have a good day uh, i will see you all in the next one uh whether it's upa whether it's harvest moon whether it is pokemon i don't know uh, i really don't know where i'm going from here i think we're just gonna kind of take it one day at a time so yeah